Uh, Nailed it. I'm so good. I'm so good at everything. Woohoo. I also did the thing. We all did the thing. Good job, did everyone. You? Uh, yes. Did you do the thing? What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thing did. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I thing did it. Just call me German because I'm going yeah, for... yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're wasting all the time. Another hour gone. Did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time. Recorded for Thursday, July 29th, 2021. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. How was that? Was that okay? Oh, I never know. That was my pretty rad. Yeah. Stopped a beat. <gasps> Are you saying I can kill people with my singing? For a. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Wasting All the Time, Season 2, an improv comedy podcast. Uh, my name is John, and um, with me as always are my cohorts. To my left, Jess. Hey, I'm t- I am the left hand of, of John. Um, I guess that means I'm the bad si- side? I'm the sinister. I'm the- no, it's okay. I'm left-handed, so it's John cool. is the devil uh, to my right. <laughs> Dave. Hey, it's me. It's Dave. Devil reconfirmed for John. <laughs> <laughs> and locked in a box somewhere in the basement uh, because he killed someone with the power <laughs> of his voice. Is Cody? <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> so this is an improv comedy podcast uh that means that uh everything we're doing even now is uh fully improvised we don't know what we're gonna say and uh, we have a lot of fun doing that and hopefully you have a lot of fun listening to it but our episodes are not fully uh amorphous blobs of of nothing like we me. do have a structure <laughs> and that structure is made up of segments sexy Mm. the first of which sounds like this (gasps) and now it's time for john to break shit down now entering the john log so i want to talk about um car air fresheners for a little bit and then we can go back to what we were doing so um Car air fresheners, uh, you know the ones I'm talking uh-huh. about, the ones that are like in the little tree shape, mm-hmm. smell like a pine cone, but like if a pine cone was made of chemicals <laughs> instead of, you know, pine cone. Um, yeah, so uh, it turns out that these actually are part of a decades long surveillance effort uh-huh. put forth by, you guessed it, the rainforest. Yes, the rainforest. Um, has uh, been keeping tabs on humanity <laughs> because we have been deforesting them to such a great degree. Um, you know, they decide they have determined that we are a threat that needs to be taken out. And so they're using these car air fresheners to gather data on humanity, <laughs> uh, which they will eventually use to take us out. Now, I don't know how exactly trees are supposed to kill people other than, you know, falling on them. Um, But, you know, this is something that we should legitimately be worried about, the coming uh, tree war. Um, So um, in the meantime, what you need to do is um, if you have air fresheners in your car, get them out of there. We don't want (laughs) them uh, learning anything about any of us who aren't, you know, Taxi drivers. (laughs) (laughs) It's the trees. (laughs) (laughs) I I hate to undermine your case here, John, but pine cones are made out of chemicals. You're made out of chemicals. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is true. Um, Yes, naturally occurring chemicals. Yes. Non-synthesized chemicals, maybe. (laughs) 
Yes, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Technically, all chemicals are synthesized, you know, through stars, but whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god! Take your take your technically glasses off. <laughs> but then I won't be able to technically non- see. Oh my Perhaps god! Non- <laughs> you technically non- will, Dave. Photons are still going into your retina. Oh, Jesus! No. What if I close oh, my no. eyes? <laughs> that doesn't have anything oh, no. to do with your glasses. No! 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 I like to close my eyes when I don't wear glasses. You mean that's, you sleep? That is not yeah, pertinent. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I gotta sleep. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Well, anyway, that was a great segment for me. Uh, let's do a segment uh, that involves everyone, huh? Oh. And that next segment is going to be called Fruit Words. <gasps> Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards, I say we go Fruit Words. Yes, now it's time to play Fruit Words. Now, Fruit Words is a game we play utilizing cards of two kinds and colors. Red cards are nouns and green cards are adjectives. Uh, we will draw one card of each color and improvise a scene inspired by these words. However, we no longer draw cards made of crude matter <laughs> instead we have <laughs> an, a digital application that was developed by um listener and patron unexampled salt brilliant, for us brilliant um, and so uh it will draw um cards of star stuff yeah. for us at the touch of a button we're all Ooh. we're made of star stuff we're all made of star stuff. You ever uh, hear the remix that had that song, that that quote in it? Are you mocking? I've heard a couple. Which Carl one are you talking about? Fucking oh, it something, Sagan. It was something, something sheep. Sheep's in the title. or. Okay, I don't know that one. The, Dave, I'll you and I are going to have words and fisticuffs if you're mocking Carl fucking Sagan. Hell no. No, no it's not a mock. Okay, good. He's was going to say. This is no mock, sir. Good. What are the words, John? What are the words? <laughs> Our words are centrifugal bullion. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> that could be an an episode title all on its own. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm reading through this this recipe and I'm a little confused by this kind of last part here. It says that when making the soup, I have to stir it for eight hours straight. That is correct. Yes. What, what, what possible, what, why, why is that? Well, you see, it's, um, it, it's about the, uh, the natural forces at work, um, in the stirring process. Uh, you're going to need to stir for at least eight hours in order to, um, you know, mimic the, uh, the quality that we're going for to mimic uh, the quality. Okay. Yes. Yes. Huh. Uh, because it's, uh, it's, you know, you can either stir for eight hours, um, or you can pour the broth into a particle accelerator for about <laughs> 30 seconds. Um, however, we, we have found that, uh, most, uh, home chefs do not have access to a particle accelerator, uh, yeah. unfortunately. Um, and, uh, so we're, we're putting in the, the eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Nor, <laughs> nor do, uh, particle accelerators to my knowledge have a soup receptacle of any kind. <laughs> yes. That was another thing that came up in our research. So kind of um, whichever end you come from, it's a, it's a non-starter. So the, <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I kind of think that like, you know, someone at CERN could figure out a way pretty easily to, uh, to, um, you know, install a soup insert. Huh. Uh, so to, are, to are you suggesting, are you suggesting that, CERN laboratories that have the large Hadron Collider, <laughs> um, they could be doing the high intensity collisions and studying the very foundations of the universe, or they could be making soup. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they very they could do either. 
they're very smart people up, up at certain. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Um, do you think that's why they're n- presumably not making soup? I didn't really uh, ask them about that, but, um, but you- I suppose it could be could be the case. Oh, okay. Um, however, I, uh, you know, back to the recipe here. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you, you insist, you know, <laughs> you will find that, um, later down, uh, you, there is the, uh, the substitution note, um, for the, for the particle accelerator. Um, so we, we do care, cover the bases there, you know, in case someone at CERN, uh, or some other, uh, similar site, uh, sure. did decide Fermi that lab. they wanted to, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know, in, in, you know, if they did want to, uh, you know, add, add a soup, soup insert to their, their collider. Hey guys. Uh, they, they could do that. Hey, oh, 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 hello the, there. Uh, how's, how's putting together the county cookbook going? Uh, Is it? going going good i see all these i see all these great recipes all these wonderful yeah recipes. we're we're just we're just having a little bit of um i think a style disagreement oh, um no. is what you could uh you know i'm trying to you know we, i was trying to um you know keep with the theme of uh of the uh you know the celebration this year uh the uh, oh yeah you know the uh, you know off to the stars, stars you know yeah off to the stars mm-hmm. cookbooks mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. So I so uh I included a uh, a recipe um for a soup that uh, one would huh? uh usually uh it you know normally would make using a um uh a particle accelerator. Oh really? Oh that's that's so <laughs> nice. I can finally get mine out of the closet then. <laughs> oh. Uh uh okay. I'm do, seeing Wait. Do you yeah. do you not have one? Do you not have a particle accelerator? No. Um, <laughs> no, no, I've just no, I've never had the occasion to, to Marty, need one. Marty, you should get it's, one. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know how Marty is about things that are perceived as uh, unitaskers. Right, right. <laughs> right. So uh you can really only use the particle accelerator for the one thing. Yeah, I mean, and, I guess uh, you could. I guess you could get that really big one. What is it? That hadron collider? And <laughs> yes, you could. Of, and you could do other doing, important like, you know, work. The discover the realities of our of our world and the universe in itself. You could just make some really good soup. I don't know why they just don't you, do that. I, don't. I I've never understood. Oh. Yeah, I keep meaning to ask the folk the the fellows up at CERN and um, yeah. I mean, it's just, just up the road. Just never comes up in conversation for some reason. Yeah. Huh. Look, I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be a celebrity thing. Uh, what, what, what? I, I have a crock pot. I have a Dutch oven. Uh-huh. I have cooking tools for soup making and, and other stuff. I've got uh-huh. cast iron. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I don't have a super cooled, super conductive mag- electromagnetic ring of fucking force fields that squirt whoa, little tiny whoa. pieces of shit at whoa, whoa. nearly light yeah. speed. Like I, I'm, I, I don't want to have that. I don't. I just. I don't have it. I don't. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have you it. don't have to have that. You don't, and you I, don't have you just. To, you don't have to have that. You, you can you, be a lesser cook. It's fine. Oh. You all no, you not even a lesser cook. You can just stir for the eight hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll get you know, you'll get one really buff arm. Can I use a machine? I suppose so, but would it really have the same authenticity? I, you're gonna have to tell me. I don't know. Mm. You know, I I think I think Marty might be onto something here. Oh, really? Yeah. What if instead of using the the particle accelerator, right? We use a, a hamster wheel. It's the same thing, essentially, right? Yes, I suppose so. Yeah. 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 You just have to get the hamster to to run for eight hours straight. I mean, I. I, I think that that's fine. I can finally get the hamster out of the closet. You know, I, I haven't had a reason to use it for a while. So and I finally have a use for all these amphetamines. There you go. <laughs> Ding. 
Very fun. Well, that was Fruit Words. Oh, yeah. We love it. And so we will now move it along to the next segment along our uh, our snake chain here. <laughs> snake chain. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what have you been up to? It's just a uh, an interlocking series of Ouroboros. Oh, no. Whoa. It never ends. Snake chain. Yeah, it's like one of those things you made like in elementary school, counting down the days till Christmas, you know, like the 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 links of yeah. of construction paper, uh, red and green. And every day you'd tear one off. It's that except with snakes eating their own tail. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Cody, do you say hold on? Yeah. And then I went <laughs> like oh, the mind brain. blown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stop eating yourself. Uh, Stop eating yourself. Mm -hmm. Would it be an Ouroboros? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Maybe an Ourobora. Whoa. Ourobolian? Ouroborodes. <laughs> oh. Bullion was one of the only things I was allowed to, to have <laughs> uh, prepping for my colonoscopy. Yay. Oh, no. T I L. When I, was a, when, mm. when I was a little kid, I ate a bullion cube and it did not Ooh. go well. Oh, no. Oh, I no. imagine not. I uh, spit it out. Yes. Oh, too much. I thought you. I thought that like was maybe probably. I, I'm sorry. I miss I uh, misrepresented the story there, Jess. I stuck yeah, I a thought, bullion yeah. cube in my <laughs> mouth when I was little. <laughs> With the intention of eating it. Yes. Spitting it out uh, was probably the best possible outcome. What have you been up to? To what up have you been? Well, Jess, what have you been up to? Oh, hey. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I stream art <laughs> and I work. I'm doing a lot of work lately. Um, oh, I'm no. a little, yeah, I'm a little concerned. It's getting to like the edge of burnout. Um, oh no. Yeah. So like I am trying to find ways that I'm still continuing my art stuff, but it's not as, um, heavy of a pressure on me and, uh, mm -hmm. trying to figure out a schedule that is more conducive for me to, um, handle all of the work that I've been doing. The thing is, is that, uh, that's kind of like resulted in me usually getting up at like 4 a.m. to start work. But then I'm really bad at making sure I go to bed in time. So it's like, <laughs> I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed by like 10, right? Because Aww. that's a good six hours. But I stay awake in bed until about 1130 midnight. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, oh. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Yeah. It's... it's so your work, is it um, outside of the normal uh, kind of nine to five uh, yeah. confines? Okay. Yeah. So it's like I have my day job and then I took on some additional contract work, but it's it's pretty much oh, like a okay. second part-time job because there's so much of it. Um, right. Yeah. So it's like, it's just a lot of work. And um, it's it's interesting because like I want to be able to go outside and do some things mm. but i'm working so much and i don't know maybe it's a maybe it's a good thing i saw an article today where there were like more daily covid cases in the united states like we hit another like yeah don't don't go outside it's hot out there yeah trust me Who oh goes it outside? is hot <laughs> oh yeah so huh. but i but i like going out in the evenings that's my favorite time to go out oh yeah yeah Especially during summer. Summer evenings mm -hmm. are like my favorite. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I wish it was like fun stuff. I did get a guitar. I got Ooh, my guitar. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, got any sweet jams? <laughs> well, I am I am having a hard time playing C. Um, yeah, that's a toughie. It is, and it's the first one that they want you to learn. Like I'm taking oh, like, damn. a little beginner's course thing. And it's like the first... Key First one you learn is C and it's like son yeah. of a gun. I because my my nails are longer. 
So like uh-huh. I cut them, but I cut them to a length that I still like, but they're still past the fingertip. So like, oh, uh, yeah, still a little rough. Yeah, it's like I can't get the pressure in order to get the pressure. Like especially my index finger is like hitting the outside string, so it's like uh-huh. causing it to mm. like go plunk. Because you and can't get them to go straight down. Yeah, because yeah. I have nails. <laughs> so <laughs> um. I don't know. I got to I got to figure something out. But uh there are a couple chords I can play that don't mm-hmm. that don't I don't have that issue with. Um and it's fun. It's it's like I strum a chord and I feel really happy cuz it's like, yeah, I did this. It's not going to amount to much but pure joy and relaxation. But, nice. Not um, much but joy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not Gee, much just joy. That's all. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it a bummer that that we uh, <laughs> we we live in um, in a situation where we would use that phrase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's it's yeah. nothing important. It just gives me joy. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't monetize this thing. Uh, right. it just makes so me therefore, happy. it is worthless. <laughs> like, it makes me very happy, but it makes no money, so it is worthless. Yeah. Cap- Late stage capitalism. Are, John, boop, boop. are you describing me? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, that subreddit is a shithole. Oh. I hate it. But yeah. I, nice. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you have a thing that is giving you joy, even, even though you're, you're kind of kind of having a little work burnout yeah yeah thank you it's yeah it'll it'll all work out i just gotta keep my chin up and uh remember my boundaries there you mm-hmm. go mm-hmm. yes that is keep your boundaries strong mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. dave yeah what have you been up to explain yourself <laughs> <laughs> I uh Jess has been working. Are you now or what have, the hell you, have ever you been, been doing? a member of the Dave and Miss Tardy party? Oh. I uh I was recently traveling for work. I went up Oh really? They've started that up again, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I went up north. I was out on the California coasts from Fort Bragg all the way up to Crescent City. And it was healing to see the ocean and the redwoods. I bet. It, uh, you know, even though I was nice. mostly just driving past them on the way to my next stop for work it's still it was mm. really really nice yeah and uh I was, yeah it's gorgeous up there gosh i i really need to get back up there in a non-work capacity to really mm. really soak it up because it was great yeah so i did that and then um this weekend i got in a little minecraft time with my brother and nice. today i was a, a whirlwind in the kitchen I did a, a <laughs> lot of cleaning up in the kitchen and started making a bunch of uh, uh, stuff like meal prep, trying to get meal prep stuff going. Nice. So that was Super fun. awesome. But uh, yeah, it's hard work. Sweating away. Uh-huh. Chopping all <laughs> kinds of things, cooking things. Nice. Putting things in What bags. kind of stuff you put in your uh, breakfast bowls? So I, yeah, so one of the things I made were these little breakfast scramble kits. I, so I have, a, I have a bunch of Ziploc bags in my freezer now that contain Body chopped bars. spinach, oh. chopped and cooked on, uh, yellow onion, green bell pepper, and ham, and uh, with some salt and pepper, and it's all frozen. And so in the morning, I can pull one of those down, dump it in a pan, get it hot, and then add eggs and have a nice scramble. It's going to be great. Dude, great nice. House. That is going to be great. Eat. And, uh, yeah, it's just stuff like that that's uh, trying to provide easy food solutions that aren't from the frozen food aisle. Yes. Or a restaurant. Yeah. Or a restaurant. Or, or a restaurant that ends up costing you $30 by the time it gets to you. $30 uh-huh. for a sandwich. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, that, was, those was, that was last year. I'm trying not to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good plan. Yeah, so... Uh, I know, I'm always... I don't know that I'll... I'm always... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You're the one talking. I don't know that I'll have the ability to do this kind of thing regularly, um, but I hope so. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Awesome. End of segment. <laughs> That's cool. I haven't been up to shit. Thanks, Dave. Oh, no. <laughs> A subsec- End of sub... Never mind. 
<laughs> now I'm ruining things. Cody, what have you been up to? I haven't been up to shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> no uh, okay, well, I mean, we've eliminated shit as a thing you've been up to. So this what? Is true. Have you been up to other things besides shit? I have. I have been streaming a lot. Twitch.tv slash practical. Check me out. It's fantastic. Uh, it's in the show notes. In the show notes. Uh, like maintaining streaming has been a blast. Like it has been one of the things, no matter what else I'm doing, it's like, cool, I've got my stream on these days. So it's been a nice like social anchor where I can talk to my friends and perform and have all that kinds of fun. Uh, I have been working at the escape room a lot more lately since. Oh, nice. Mm. They're back open. Yes. Yes. Things have been opening back up. The county that they are in has been like, hey, cool. You can, you know, run your business again. So that's great. Uh, people are having a blast. It is so nice to like interact with people again where I can like, yeah, I'm going to tell jokes and like hear laughter immediately because it's other saying? humans that I'm face to face with. <laughs> there was this one group. I like they were, they were very friendly and they were very polite and not the philosophical sense. They were the most stoic people I have ever encountered ever. Oh mm. my. Like, like okay it was weird because they were so polite i would like if i was like oh what have you done in escape rooms and they would answer and be like yeah we've done this and this and then stop <gasps> and then deadpan and be like oh, oh my okay i'd be like did you escape no <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> okay and like when i do the spiel I, I have a couple bits that usually land like there there's some ridiculous things like Oh, like you don't want to put something in your pocket and then wander around the room. And then later everyone asks, where's this thing? And you're like, I found this at the beginning. Just kind of goofing it up. And people usually laugh at it, but they're just looking at me like I'm giving them very important information. Like, okay, should we write this down? No, no, <laughs> no guys, it's an escape room. Let's, let's, let's have a little, and they get in the room and they're having a great time. And so I'm like, it must be me. For whatever reason, they looked at me and went, we need to be very serious with this gentleman. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and so then people are like that. They and, and which is fine. Like I, I like when people laugh at my jokes, obviously. But in that case, it's like okay, cool. Then I'm just going to be very professional and straightforward with you instead of like trying to crack you up and like be that goofy <laughs> guy. Yeah. And then th yesterday, somebody tipped me twenty dollars just Not for bad. oh damn right for just running the room. He was super chill. Like they were they were fun. They were having a great time. They they did not escape because the room is super difficult. Afterwards, he just did that like, hey man, here. And I was like, holy shit, thank you. And he's like, yep, thanks for the game. And I was like, you just gave me $20 to do my job, but thank you. Mm. <laughs> Very uh -huh. cool. Yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. And now that you've said that on a podcast, make sure you report it as your income. I did. I wink. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. seriously, just kidding. Fuck the IRS. But no, 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 just kidding. Seriously, fuck the IRS. Oh, I said it again. Uh, I keep saying it. <laughs> I keep saying fuck the IRS. No, dang. If you're going uh, to do that, at least use a condom. Come on. No, I want them to get what I have. <laughs> That's the whole Disdain. point. Disdain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> just want to call attention to uh, Dave's Perfect little punchline there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dave always has perfect punchlines. That's why I try mm -hmm. so hard. He yes. tries so yes. hard. Yes. Escape room gets so far. <laughs> yes, Stephen. But in the end, <laughs> it matters not. Nay. John. Cody, you done? I, I guess. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> John, what are you up to? Well, I had a colonoscopy God this past it. week. <laughs> what is that? Sorry, what is that, John? I'm not familiar with like medical terms. Yeah, so that's basically, uh, yeah, uh, they uh -huh. they put a camera uh -huh. up uh, up my behind. Your what? Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. look at my colon. Sorry, I don't like your back, like your spine. Um, <laughs> no, lower than that. Oh, okay, like your lower back. Okay. Yes. Like my butthole. There you go. <laughs> like it. <laughs> like it. Yes. You have several. <laughs> but uh, uh, so I had that done um, and uh, it was actually not not bad. Um, I also I was having an upper endoscopy 
done as well where they go down your throat oh. to look at like your esophagus. Sweet so much fun. Shit. And so because of that, they actually knocked me all the way out. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Um yeah. So uh so the worst part was just the prep, which uh, you know, trigger warning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh but uh they uh they give you this this huge jug of the grossest shit ever. And uh, you're on clear liquid diet <laughs> the whole day before. Uh, and then the evening of that day, you start drinking this jug of nasty shit, um, which uh, helps clear out your uh, your bowels and your colon uh, so they can get a good look at everything. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Oh, God, it, it was bad. It tasted like like salty balloons oh no oh, yeah it was bad oh I, what yeah. a great descriptor yeah that's <laughs> that kind of makes just, me super uncomfortable this balloon yeah. doesn't taste processed enough please put some salt on it so i can get the right. true rubber texture to, to yeah no it had flavor. like this weird like latexy rubbery oh. taste to oh, it God. um in addition to like kind of a salty, like, a, you know, it, it was, um, you know, it was a, it was a laxative obviously, but like with, um, like electrolytes as well. I think that's where the salt was coming. <laughs> that's from. how they sell it with electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just awful, 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 awful. The one good thing about that though, is that after the first couple cups of that, you're not hungry anymore because you're kind of nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah. So yeah, that whole prep sequence was was the uh, the worst part of it. But um, but clearly yeah, you made so it they, through. Uh, yeah, made it through. Um, they did find uh, a couple of very small polyps mm -hmm. uh, in my mm -hmm. colon uh, that they uh, they went ahead and took out, and um, and uh, so you know it's good that those are gone. Mm -hmm. And they're biopsying them, but the likelihood is that they're they'll be, you know, a nothing burger. Mm -hmm. Um, but the fact that they were there at all means that I'm now in uh the five year colonoscopy club. <sighs> uh so so I get to do this again in five years. Hooray. Which will not be fun, but will be a lot more fun than dying of colon cancer. I suppose. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, yeah, there was there was that. We also moved into a new building at my work. Ooh. That has been awesome. Nice. Uh it's, you know, state of the art. Um you know, tons of natural light all throughout it. Um you know, to the point where I mostly don't have to turn any lights on. Mm -hmm. You know, every once in a while I'll just go and turn them on kind of just for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, photons. Yeah. But they've got kitchenettes, so I don't have to wash my dishes in in a late seventies bathroom anymore. Good, um, get retro. Yeah, yeah, just really, really nice overall. Like I feel like it's it's dumb, but like everything is so much more functional. Like I feel way more productive <laughs> in that environment than I have uh, in the old building in a long time. Nice. Yeah. Amidst all that, the garden is still coming along okay. Hmm. The uh the cherry tomato plant is uh God, it's got a lot of blossoms on it. Nice. I've been using um I've been using a uh a trick I learned late last season, a little too late last season, mm. uh which is using an electric toothbrush on the blooms to uh pollinate them. Oh. So you get what? Nearly 100% fruit set. Those are words. Wait, yeah. wait, how do you, how? Huh? So you take the electric toothbrush uh -huh. and um, you don't use the brush side. You, you use the back of the head and you, you just, <laughs> you, um, you touch it briefly to the, the back of each blossom oh. and it simulates like the flapping of, you know, a small <laughs> insect's wings and dislodges the pollen down. So it, it pollinates. Oh. Gotta keep them pollinated. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta yeah, and it seems to really be working so far. 
<laughs> every uh every flower that that I've done that on, you know, has has gone on to set fruit. So nice. John's just Slick, walking around yeah. shaking flowers. <laughs> yep. That sounds like As a horrific a- euphemism. <laughs> it looks flowers, like I'm, a, uh, I'm about to, to have some <laughs> them for money. <laughs> Shake down. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it looks like I'm about to have some uh, lemon cucumbers in the next couple days. Ooh. That'll be awesome. Nice. You say kind of missed out on those last year. Lemon cucumbers? Don't question. Yeah, it. they're. Mm. Yeah, they're a uh, they're a variety of cucumber, except they're little round and yellow. Huh. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they're technically like an heirloom variety. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited about those. They're really good. Lemon cucumbers are so nice. Yeah. So that's that's pretty much everything I've been up to. That and, you know, still calculus. Nerd. (laughs) Apparently, most of the time the limit does exist. So, yeah, that's about it. Slick. And I guess I am in charge of this. So ding. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> we will move it on to the next segment. What's weird in the world? What's weird in the world today? Yeah. What's weird in the world today? Hawaii plans goat lottery to clear animals from national park. What? Hawaii plans a special lottery to distribute some unusual prizes, about 700 goats who live in a national park. The Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources said the goats are being rounded up from the Hawaiian name National Historical Park, where they are considered an invasive species. Mm. The department will distribute these will quote distribute these animals to permitted members of the public, unquote. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, are you goat permitted? <laughs> Officials said the permits will be distributed via a random lottery July 28th. Oh, so you just missed it, everyone. Sorry. Fuck. It said the winners of the permits will be required to take in at least 20 goats <laughs> and not more than 50. Those who apply for the permits must have access to a 16 foot enclosed horse trailer or an equivalent means of goat transport. And preferably not live in an apartment. (laughs) If you're a bitch. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, short and sweet, but boy, how interesting. So many goats. So many Mm. goats. (laughs) Yeah, the the uh, the fact that you have to take Lonely goat at goat. least 20 of them. Uh, like, you can't just say, can I have one? Did it- can I have a goat? <laughs> I just want like one. We're kind of hungry. We could make some goat <laughs> burgers out of it. You know, right. I just I just want one. Uh, I, I want to test them out first. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so what you're looking um, at here is this is a late 2018 goat. You could eh? you could tell because of the horns. Okay. And that's okay. that's one of our more value based models. Okay. All right. But I mean, it, it looks like it's got a little bit of a limp leg. I'm not gonna lie. That's no, it it does. It does. That's okay. Esteban. Esteban the limping goat. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, sure, you know, I can I just want some alone time with Esteban. I wanna see if we can get along before I uh make a purchase, an Esteban purchase. Mm-hmm. That's Mm-hmm. You know, can, oh, I, can I just get on to the other side of the, this here fence? And well, well, hold up there, I'm just cowboy. Get oh. oh, you noticed. You noticed up there, my hat. Cowboy. Thank you. That's right. I'm a cowboy. I did. I did. The big label that says I'm a cowboy on the top really sold it for me. Yeah, thanks. I, that's why I got it in blue sparkles. You know, make the, it really stand out. It brings out your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. But I got to make sure... That you are goat certified first. I got to make sure you ain't one of them city slickers showing up trying to rustle my goats and make like a goat <laughs> burger out of it. I like you, and I'm gonna be upfront with you. I appreciate that. I'm gonna take this hat off here. I'm gonna uh-huh. take my hat off. Uh huh. I'm a city slicker. I really ah, don't know anything. Damn I'm just- it. <laughs> 
come on, just this one time. I just really, like, look at him. Cletus! Cletus, you got a city slicker? I don't, it's not personal. It's not personal. I just, look at you. I bet you got an iPhone. You got an iPhone, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's the only kind of phone that's going to get reception out here. (laughs) Like, crazy? (laughs) Oh, out here. What's going on? Cletus, we got yet another city slicker. Look at this one. Look at him. God darn it. <laughs> Language, Cletus. I, I, would, I would I would, just like to point out that the hat, the hat really oh. made you think I, I was one of you. So, Wait a I second. mean, I could just put the hat back on. I, I'm confused. I, I, With I'm that hat on, it, you look like a cowboy. That's what I thought, Cletus. That's right, not, I do. Not a city that's slicker. Right. Mm-hmm. You sure you ain't one of us pretending to be a city slicker? I, you know, I'll take the hat Ooh. off again. I got it. I got it. Ah, it. Ah. No. I, ah. <laughs> I mean, I'm part. Soul alive. <laughs> I, I'm half rancher, you know? So maybe that's why. Um, You're a half rancher. Mm. I'm half rancher. I'm half city slicker, half rancher. <laughs> My great grandfather was a rancher. Uh, you got a brand? Oh, well, I mean. On me? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't mm, have a brand. Oh, okay. On me. I mean, okay. I, I've got so, a brand, like, poker, you know. So, she, so you ain't a stockman then, huh? <laughs> oh. N- no, no. Um, but I am uh, a sixth cousin thrice removed. Oh. You sure it ain't yeah. five times removed? No, it's thrice. Okay, good, good. All right. I don't know. Okay. Let's... So just let, I just want to check out Esteban. Just let me check out Est. Come on. Come Cletus? On. Come on. What, you think you can keep this here? What's your name, Slick? Uh, well, do you want the name that I was going to say with the yeah. hat on or off? Yeah, yeah. yeah make, make the best case you can here. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so it's Susan. I, you know what? Uh, maybe, we, maybe we should go with the real or name. Or Sue. 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 Sue's right. Okay, yeah. there we go. Cletus, yeah. you there think you can keep an eye on Sue here while yeah, she checks I out I can. I can keep my distance for privacy reasons if you like, Sue. Make sure she don't get Esteban into any of that yoga or <laughs> cryptocurrency <laughs> nonsense. It's really good for their ankles, I mean. I swear to God. Stretching and everything. You... Say my goat has cankles one more time. All right, Cletus, I, this, this is in your hands now. I need to go. I need to go rope a steed. All um, right. Oh, Lord Almighty, give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to say anything while they were around. I knew it. I knew that I knew those horns were fake and you're really a person. I am in fact a goat. <laughs> you can speak. Darn it. This is why I'm a city slicker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ding. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, no. oh. Sorry, I should have gone with that. Yeah. <laughs> That was oh, brilliant. That was a big old no. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's good. <laughs> I clicked my clip bit. meter four times just then. <laughs> oh, my waveform is a block. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Uh, it was it was the perfect like like escalation of that character. Like the first half was already like allegedly like. What's your authenticity? And then she's like, no. She's like earning it. And she's like, no, guys, I really want this. I got this. And she hops in the back and is like, ah, you're a person. No, I'm a goat. <laughs> it just immediately <laughs> shatters that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Oh. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is... What is weird <laughs> in this world? Oh, indeed. <laughs> uh, goat lotteries. <laughs> <sighs> well, with that finished, there is but one segment left 
on this chain of Aurora by <laughs> and that is Aurora the Bowie. improv game of Ooh. the week. Sweet. It's the improv game of the week. Yes, every week on the podcast, we choose an improv game and try to play it. And today's improv game is <laughs> 911. <laughs> What's your emergency? Uh-huh. Gasp. The gasp. So, um, <laughs> for any of you who have uh, not heard this before, this is a game in which uh, one player is a 911 operator taking calls, and the rest of us are people calling in to 911 with various uh, quote unquote emergencies. And it is up to the, uh, the 911 operator to determine. Uh, whether these are real emergencies or whether these are just very strange people mm-hmm. uh, who uh, are blowing things out of proportion. Mm. <laughs> so does anyone have a particular desire to be the 911 operator? I'll be, I'll be the operator. I, I've been uh, okay. I've been thinking about like really playing the straight man lately. I, I recently was thinking about that. Uh, that I don't remember what the episode was we did with Cameron and Dave was like, I was a doctor and Dave was like, play this as straight man as you possibly can. And it ended up being <laughs> amazing. So mm. I, I, that's kind of been in my head. So I, I want to play this 911 operator as, as straight as I can. Okay. Cause it's not the bit for the operator to be goofy. Right. Which I, yeah. I did once and I ruined a scene with Dave because I was being a goofy 911 operator, but no you didn't ruin it. Could you explain it more? Coach? Yes, I said a thing that was bad, and that bad thing <laughs> made the scene bad because it's bad. The end. That Tip your waitress. Cool. So I'm not getting into <laughs> improv philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You're not gonna rope me in this time. Oh, I'll rope you. I mean, uh, what did what? Immanuel Man, Kant have to say about improv co- philosophy? <laughs> what? Mm, 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 mm. Nope. 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 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I am. I'm having some difficulty getting into this bag of almonds. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, can you can you tell me what, a little bit about the bag of almonds? Is it is it very important to you? It's a it's a one pound value pack. Mm-hmm. Blue diamond mm-hmm. almonds. Mm-hmm. Is there um, something very important in the bag, sir? Well, I want to eat the almonds, but I, uh-huh. I can't. I'm, I'm having trouble getting into the bag. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you? I cut uh, my fingers off. So, so, sorry. And now I can't open the bag very well. You're I, flipping around. Oh God. So that's that's a that's a major medical issue. We need to get yeah. paramedics well, to I your. Called, I called you for help. I'm hoping you can help me get into this bag. Yeah, absolutely. The the paramedics should have some medical tools on them to. Are your fingers near you, sir? Are they like on the floor around you? Maybe in a kitchen sink. Um. Yeah. Well, one of them fell into the dish disposal. But I got the rest. <laughs> sir, this is very important. Which finger fell in the disposal? Right. Left or right? Right. Ah. Uh... You didn't nope, run still it, got right? My wedding band. Still got my wedding band. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank goodness. <laughs> Otherwise, oh. I would have been in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Anyway, we should get some paramedics there on the double so you don't bleed to death. Thank you. You're welcome. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, uh, yes, um, the sale expired. <laughs> um, the sale, the so, sale ended yesterday. Uh huh. Um, Ma'am? And and it's it's no uh, this this Go. bit of Tupperware is no longer on sale anymore. Um. Do you do you I, have the Tupperware with you? I I mean I'm holding I I'm holding on to the Tupperware. Yeah. Um, uh huh. Sorry. And and I mean the sale is expired though, and I can say <laughs> I I need help because okay. the sale expired, and I need I need this I need this Tupperware, and they everybody seems very angry at me. Okay, I, I need you no. to take a deep breath. I need you to get some of that adrenaline out of your system. We're going to help you. Oh, You're going to be I, fine. I, I think if I get the adrenaline out of my system, I won't be able to keep running. <laughs> <laughs> so the, there, there are people chasing you. Your life is in immediate danger. Okay, keep running. What's your mile time? Yeah, but, oh, uh, you know, I feel bad, Case. Thank you for asking. But, uh, I, you know, I think if you could just suddenly make the, make the Tupperware on sale again, I think 
Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Okay. Wait, or can you, can you, like, update coupons? Like, update the expiration date on a coupon, maybe? I, I, can, I can do my best. What county are you in? Uh, Fig. Fig County? How? Yeah, go, go, go to Fig County. What? How close are you to Amaranth County? Oh, you know, I think that's like three, five days away. Okay, if you can sprint over there as soon as you cross the county lines, I can update that Tupperware. And, uh, technically, it'll be stolen goods, but you'll be fine because it'll be reported as lost. So just, um, run. But I don't, you see, that's the thing. I don't want it stolen. I want to be able to tell everybody oh, at the next party, mm-hmm. you know, hey, I got it. No. I got this out of steel. Wait a minute. Ah. Uh? <laughs> Uh, up. Good luck. Breathe. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Oh, uh, hi there. I'm having a bit of a trouble with uh, with a mallard. A mallard, sir. <laughs> that's uh, a. I was hoping you could help me out. That's here. a duck, right? Um, uh, yes, it's a male duck. Not a biologist. And, um, th- here's the thing. So I am a taxidermist by um, well, not really by trade, <laughs> more by um, you know, uh, by um. Uh, calling <laughs> and um, so you know these, uh-huh. this uh, this particular mallard um, he just um, he wasn't quite um, well he wasn't deceased when he came to uh, my shop and uh, now it seems like he's run off somewhere and I could uh, use some help tracking him down before he gets into things what kind of things could he get into? He's a duck, right? Yes, he is a duck. And, um, yes, well, my, um, yes, my, uh, <laughs> calling is as a taxidermist. Right, we've established uh, but, that. Uh, my profession, uh, my day job, as it were, uh, is as, um, one would call me perhaps a, uh, uh, a gentleman of leisure, uh, <laughs> as a result of having inherited uh, my uh, my parents uh, volatile chemical company. Um, <laughs> so you're a- much of the handiwork of which is uh, currently in my uh, domicile. Okay, gentlemen of and- leisure, you're an adult entertainer, right? Uh, I, I well, I mean, <laughs> I, I suppose taxidermy does uh, does scare children and amuse adults. So excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. I just need to know which team of paramedics to send to you. I need to send the jaded ones. So there's dangerous adult chemicals in your office that this duck can can get to. Am I am I caught up? That is correct. Okay. 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 Um, has your office been baby proofed in any way? Well, here's the thing. You know, my nephew came over a few months ago uh-huh. and um, you know managed to dissolve. Uh, half of his uh, pacifier in one of these uh, chemicals, and so they made me go through and baby-proof the whole damn thing. Um, I thought it was unnecessary. It's not like the child was harmed. Um, but he, uh, he did cry quite a bit about his uh, plastic toy dissolving in that particular bucket of acid. Uh, babies are bitches, um, whatever. And so, um, yes, uh, it is baby-proof. Mm. I'm just going that, you know, ducks are so much smarter than babies. Oh, God, yes. So, what I'm going to need you to do, this is this is very important, I need you to get yourself to a small area, maybe like a closet, if you can lock yourself in. Ducks have some difficulty with locks. Um, you, you do have locks on all your closets, right? External key locks? Oh, of course, yes. Of course. Uh, as long as your key is hidden sufficiently, the duck shouldn't be able to get to you um, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send a team of our best. Um, I just need to make sure that you're still alive by the time they get there. Oh yes, I'll be fine. Oh, I good. do have okay. a shotgun. Oh, oh, I, you should have opened with that. I, I didn't. That, now that we know you're safe, we can send. Uh, we can send a response team by the more secure ro- route, so the duck doesn't know they're coming. Oh, fantastic! Yes, I just need to track him down so that I can stuff him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, uh, if we could keep the damage to a minimum, that would uh, be wonderful. I mean, you know, life and property is uh, safety above all, but I will, uh, I'll see if they can load out with some number seven birdshot instead of the uh, 50 cal armor piercing rounds. Oh, thanks so much. We're here for you, public servants.
Nine one one. What's your emergency? Uh, yeah. Um, do you do animal disposal? <laughs> I mean, we can we can contact the proper department. It it, it kind of depends on the animal. What uh, what is it? Small like a rodent or? I got thirty five goats in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> goats, you say? Yeah, it's not working out. They've uh, they've taken over the baby playpen. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't know where my kid got to. Uh, I mean, you have thirty five of them. You should be able to see most of them. <laughs> oh god! Are you joking with me right now? <laughs> no, I'm legally not allowed to. Good. I don't <laughs> no, uh, I can't guff either. That's more of a personal choice, though. Okay. All over. Mm, okay, hazmat suits. Okay. Cleaning lady won't touch it. I. That makes sense. She's probably not allowed to. I didn't even. I didn't even want to sign up for that damn lottery. You, the lottery? I, I need to. Yeah, the lottery. I, they say, they called me up. They said mm-hmm. I won the lottery. They okay. backed the trailer into my freaking freight elevator and sent it all up. Ah, drive by goading. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, are you currently safe, sir? Like, do you have safe haven from the goats? I'm on the dinner table. They can get up here, but they're not up here right now. <laughs> are they mountain goats? They're apartment goats currently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. I'm going to need you to ma- make sure you remain calm. Uh, goats can sense fear. And just... Um, do you have any okay. kind of sh- shiny object around you that you can use to distract the goats? Yeah, yeah, I've got some really nice crystal wear. Oh, okay. Is it the Australian crystal? Sure. <laughs> That's the good stuff, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Australia, known for its crystals. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yes. you're saying I should throw that at the goats? Oh, uh, th- that, that's an option too. I was going to say refract some of the sunlight to show something shiny that they can follow. But if, if, you, if you want to uh, throw $800 crystal glasses at goats, that is, that is your prerogative, sir. So my options are throw the, throw the crystal wear or just make flashy flash through the sunlight. Go- goats are dumb as shit, sir. They'll follow any kind of flashy. Okay. All right, I'm going to try that. You can stay on the line. No, absolutely not. Uh, there's a lot of calls coming in. Goats are very rarely carnivorous, so you you should be absolutely fine. I uh, okay. just call us back if they start, um, you know, doing doing weird stuff. I gotta say, you've been a lot of help. Thank you. That's what I'm here for, public servant. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Oh, finally. Yeah, <laughs> can I get a number one? Uh, sir. Um, no uh, pickle, no onion. Sir. Um, I can't. and then um, this isn't. Yeah, could you? I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will take that uh, large size. No, sir. Uh, with a, yeah, with a. This um, is an This is an emergency line. I, I don't. Who who are you trying to call? This is this is an this is an emergency line. There are like there are life threatening things going on outside here. I don't. I can't. I can't be wasting valuable time on the line with you when you're trying to order fast food. Yes, I would like ambulance number one. <laughs> and I would I like them now. to. Not bring pickle or onions as I have a food allergy. <laughs> and uh, it needs to be a large size uh, ambulance. Okay. Uh, because, um, you know, I have uh, a goat attached to my leg. I am mildly chagrined. And I will get that ambulance out there as soon as possible. If you could go ahead and uh, give me your address, I will make sure there are no uh, allergic foods. And uh, do you need some kind of sedative for the goat or yourself? Uh, no, but if you could throw a pizza in, that'd be God great. damn it. 911, <laughs> <laughs> what's your emergency? Oh, uh, yeah, um, I have a, I have a little bit of a problem, um. Yeah, are you, are you in danger? Uh, are you safe? Well, I think, I think everyone is in danger at this point. Um. Oh, no. So, I, I, just, just to put all my cards on the table, I found a county cookbook. Um, <laughs> and, well, it, um, I like to be authentic, you know, because living in the big city, authenticity is everything. And I kind of broke into the Hadron.
Hadron Collider, and I'm making soup. Now, I think this is going to be really good, but I'm seeing, like, a tear um. in the space and time continuum. Um, Are, so you, you, let me get this straight. You yeah. illegally entered a secure government research facility. Yeah, well, I, I knew somebody who works for CERN, so it's fine. <laughs> And you are making soup. soup. It's, I, I mean, I've tasted a little bit of it, and it's really good. Wait, if you've tasted the soup, that means the soup has come out okay. What's the What's the problem? If you're not in immediate danger... Uh, well, that's the thing. There's this tear. <gasps> in, it looks like there's literally a tear in space and time. And I'm uh-huh. like looking through it. Uh-huh. And, you know, I'm seeing things that I can't... Like a color that I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know if maybe you guys can. Do you have any super glue? We have staples. Staples that could work. That could mm-hmm. work. Um, <laughs> I just need. I just need some people to come on over here and kind of push it, push it back. You know, push it back together and staple it down. Is that something? You know. I mean, we have we have paramedics. How is your psyche hanging up? I I need to make sure that the psyche of my paramedics is going to be. Well taken care of. Like I, I can't really call them into a kind of a disaster like this without oh, knowing what's going on. Right. Yeah. No. It's waffles. It's all right. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, waffles. No, no. 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 Guys. No. She's fucked. We're gonna send someone right over. Oh, great. Great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Enjoy. Enjoy your soup. I hope it was worth it. Ding. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh man and you know what it was goat soup it was it really was it's goat soup all the way down Mm. (laughs) oh oh well done everyone i love it also i liked how i opened up that segment going i'm gonna play the straight man operator and did nothing of the fucking sort (laughs) oh oh well Uh, some you know what that's why uh, you never you never try and call your shots right. in yeah. improv. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that uh, no, it didn't work at all. Cody's like Babe Ruth <laughs> pointing a home run, <laughs> <laughs> and then just whiffs it. Hundred oh. percent. Oh, it but was in a oh. hilarious way. Yeah, I didn't play so much a straight man. I did as I did like a non goofy character. Serious. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. was like. I tried to have everything like very, very straightforward, but it was still goofy shit in there. So thank you for indulging me in my weird ass 911 <laughs> operator. Of course. We love it. Oh, well, that about does it for the time we have for wasting today. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I did too. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it yeah. was good. But I've uh, I've remembered the outro now. <laughs> um, so if there was anything uh, in this episode that you liked in particular, please go to our website, wastingallthetime.com, and then you're going to add a slash vote. And there you can nominate your favorite scenes at the end of the year. We uh, take all those nominations and we put them to a vote. Uh, and you can vote for your favorite scenes of the year. And we put them all together in a, in a big, uh, sometimes two-parter episode where we count down the top 10 Ooh. best liked scenes of the year. It's Ooh. a lot of fun, and mm-hmm. I uh, highly recommend you um, participate in that. And if there was anything in the episode that you really disliked, um, anything that made you think, you know what, I am going to move to Hawaii illegally breed goats <laughs> so that they have to hold another goat lottery so that I can win a bunch of those goats to bring them back to the mainland and set them loose in the homes of John, Jess, Cody, and Dave as recompense for this terrible thing I had to listen to. You can tweet that to me at Jay Hansen himself. That is my personal Twitter, and I never check it. <laughs> Nerds. And so, with that, I've been John. To my left has been Cody. It's me, Cody. To my right has been Dave. I did it. And up in the attic, <laughs> working away what? at the next awesome thing. 
that will change the world was Jess. I'm Jess, apparently creepily staring out that one window that those attic houses have. <laughs> yeah, with the single candle lit. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Gazing out over the moor. The poor? <laughs> <laughs> the moor. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, either way. It's a gothic novel. It's on a moor. <laughs> uh, and we wasted <laughs> all of the time. God damn it. Bon voyage. Oh, but. Bye. Good night, folks. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com, and there we have all the answers. <laughs> <laughs>